Hey everybody, welcome back to this week's Thursday Tipple. This week I'm going to show you how to make some bow ties for your woodworking. I've got this slab of wood and I've been working on it and it's going to be a table. Uh, it's going to be a project, uh, it's going to be released at some point. But as you can see I've got some really nasty cracks. Now these cracks don't go all the way through the piece, uh, which is one good thing. But I don't want it to expand any further. So what we can do is put in some bow ties. And they're really simple. I mean, I've got a piece of walnut here, and all you do is you measure out and draw a bow tie. The first thing you need to make sure is that the grain of the wood is going to be going this way across the bow tie. Can you see there? Now, if the grain was going this way, it's very easy for it to snap. So you want the grain to be coming this way of your bow tie. So we're just going to take this over to the bandsaw now and cut out this bow tie. And there you go, there's one bow tie. Now I've got one, two, three, four five cracks on here that I think are going to be quite substantial if I don't put a bow tie on them. And I'm going to make a few more of these bow ties varying in sizes uh, purely for the size of crack that I'm going to be tying together. And when I do that I'll come back and I'll show you how I put them into the wood. Okay so now they're all in place I'm going to be turning to my friend Mr. Stanley Blade. Ooh. This comes in very useful. You can use one of these, but a Stanley Blade is nice and thin. And it also starts cutting the wood for you as well. So when you start chipping in with a, a router or even a chisel, you're going to have nice clean edges. There's a good tip for you. Because I've got uh, two similar shapes like this, I just marked it with a different shape. So this one has got a circle, this one's just got a line. So I know not to mess them up. So to router this out, I'm going to be using one of the smallest bits I've got. It measures in at around about just over two mil, two and a half mil, something like that. So I'm going to be putting it into my little Katsu quarter inch router. This has come in so useful the last couple of days. It's an absolute true part of a machine. If you haven't got one of these already, I highly recommend going out and getting one. Katsu. Not a promotion. Now I'm at a depth that I'm happy with. I'm just going to go and clean up all the edges with a couple of chisels. So they're all done, chiselled out, hoovered, they're nice and clean. Now if you remember we used a standing blade to cut the wood, so hopefully these are going to be really tight in the holes. Uh, I've just tried one out and it's nice and tight. So we're going to move on to the glue now, put some glue into the hole and then hammer them home.
Oh. So now they're in place, I'm going to use my Stanley 220A just to go over and get them as flush as possible to the piece of wood. And there you have it. These are my take on the bow ties. Now, two of them didn't turn out particularly well. Um, I did have to fill them with glue and sawdust, but that's something that I'm gonna live with. They still look really, really cool. And I think once I put a finish on it, you won't notice it anyway. Now, this was pretty much my first ever attempt at bow tie. And I did it on a previous table, a learning one to this. And it worked out really, really well. Now, I know that this sort of um, cracking needs some sort of support. So these bow ties will hopefully keep it standing for a few more years. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, please do click that like button down below. And also as well, why not click subscribe? Doing so will keep you up to date with all of my latest videos. So until the next time, I'll see you soon.